Oh, yeah. Uh, using a 3D printed clamp, a smaller version of something like this to hold my phone up. Turn those tunes off. All right, so tonight, I'm gonna write down a bunch of stuff that I've gotta do. Um, tonight we'll be getting done some... Man, what is it? Do you see the computer from there? No, nah, kind of not really though. Um, yeah, so on this page, whoops, this page here, uh, you can kind of see it, mm, that thing there. Um, what that is, that's the branch configuration page from last, uh, well that was from Wednesday night or Thursday early morning. Um, what did we get done last time? We got done, oh yeah, sweet. Uh, everything's backwards in this stupid camera. Um, so yeah, we got the, uh, we can configure the node types, we can configure node IDs. Um, so we can change what their functions are live on the go and that will keep in our little database and stuff. So that's neat. Um, we can send get, post, put patch and delete uh, requests on triggers. So if we link up a trigger to, um, you know, say keypad like this, boop, 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 um, we can get that to send a post request off to the net somewhere. Great. Um, all right. So, uh, maybe I should go into some nerd talk about it. Um, so this user interface here is um, running Angular, Angular 6 or something. I don't know the version numbers of these things. Um, and so that just being the front end, I do have the um, root server as the, the back end for it, right? And so this Angular front end doesn't actually store any information, um, any data whatsoever, right? It's all from the root server. So even, even all the HTTP requests that are conducted are all going through the root server. They don't go through, they don't get called from the front end. Um, all the get request, all, all the requests go through root server. They don't go, they don't even go directly to branches either. They all go through the root. Um, so, which means that the root at the top of the chain can disseminate all the information down. Um, basically, you, know, you can draw like a sweet hierarchy thing here. All right, so let's just get a new page. All right, all right so yeah, we have root server. Cool. Root. Can't even read that. R O O T. Right. Root backwards. Really should flip this video. All right, we got the root server. Um, this is just for the immediate stuff. We have our front end UI and then we have everything else. You know, so we got, say we got, I'll just draw a cloud for the internet. That's the internet. And then we've got our branch servers. And we got a bunch of those. Right. Jup, jup, jup. And so our front end, our user interface interacts with the root server. Our branch, our branch servers interact with the root server so that we don't go directly to here. That's no, no. We also don't go directly to the internet. No, no, as well. Um, that also means that all of the style sheets, like uh, all the bootstrap and jQuery and stuff that I am using, even though I'm using Angular, um, I am using some jQuery elements and such, um, those are all installed via NPM, so Node Package Manager, um, so that once this is gone live and running properly, we don't, it doesn't require the internet at all to run. So all the styles, everything is kept locally on the site itself um, for it to draw on it. Meaning that we don't ever have to talk to the interwebs up here directly from 
the user interface. So that, that means that it's much, much easier to um, have this root server contained and not, um, yeah, like you can block things in and out of that one thing really easily that way. Um, but it also means that the patterns become a little bit more, uh, not more complicated, they just become more work to set up. If I wanted to connect one more route, for example, like I, I made a thing where I can now, uh, which is what I'm going to finish off right now, this very immediate thing, which is um, saving and, oh, so, um, yeah, so saving and deleting uh, audio and video files to the branch servers. So we can list all of the audio files, all the video files on the branch server. Now, why would the branch server just hold audio and video files? Well, maybe they might want to hold something else in the future, but they hold audio and video files for now if you want to have um, your screen in the room that will play those videos or play that audio. Um, you, want that, you want that screen to be able to grab like all that data from that branch server itself, not from the root server. And the reason being the branch server will be physically closer to um, like the location where you're going to put this stuff. Um, you could have, the way that this is set up, you could have a branch server over the internet if you wanted to. I could have my root server sitting at home and my branch servers here just doing their thing. <clears throat> it wouldn't be very efficient uh, as speed wise because there's lots and lots of things, but I mean, it can be done. Uh, and I mean, actually, there's not even that much to stop it. It's just, I don't even think it'd be that slow. It doesn't, it'd be, need some lots of testing, but it's all just been tested local network. It, it, I'm getting off track. It, the point is, uh, yeah, so we've got audio and video files that can be saved onto the branch server um, so that when you're running um, these rooms, you can grab the audio and video files off that local device. It, yeah, I'm just, and when I talk about this stuff, it's like, I've got to think of it as I'm going because I never really vocalize this stuff. It's all just up here. And when I try and tell people, they just don't understand. But the cameras, camera, you, you, you don't give it, you don't care. Right. So that's that, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make it so we can save my video and audio. Oh yeah, that's right, the path. So if I wanted to add that path to upload and remove those video and audio files, it becomes a, a lot more crazy. Uh, it would just be super easy through Angular to just go, oh yeah, um, send this file in a form and then you know send a delete command over the network. But what I have to do is I can't just go directly to the branch and say, hey you, here's a new video, or hey you, here's a, you know, delete this video, delete this audio, whatever. I have to go to the root server and say, yeah, find this branch and delete its audio, or delete its video, whatever. Um, now, the reason being why I can't just go through there, I mean, I could, but it doesn't compartmentalize this so well. Um, because if you, Set your set your network up so that you only had specific things that could talk to this branch server, uh, which would be the root. And if this user interface wasn't run from the same machine as this root server was, and what have you, then you would run into some issues um, there. So with the root server controlling all of the communication, it allows us in the future to control all traffic through everything so it controls what the user interface sees controls what each branch server will see and you know vice versa through everything through that so yeah uh so for tonight tonight's efforts what i'm going to do is finishing off the finishing off the uh yep upload and delete uh video and audio files and then as i said last video um, gonna go ahead and write the code for this little guy. Is it gonna focus? No, it's not gonna focus. Lame. MP3 player. Yep. And I'm gonna plug it into this little ESP thing. Not that one. One that's not plugged into anything at the moment. Doesn't matter. 
uh, yeah, and charge my phone because I left my charger here and I'm on like 10% battery or something now. So. Oh, and I've got to print off a bunch of letters in the 3D printer, which is over there. That thing. Mm, this thing. Yep. Okay, uh, that's, that's about it. No, wait a Oof. So it's... What time? It's two o'clock in the morning. I think I've spent like over two hours on this thing, right? Which is um, getting files to upload and save to the server. Now that's that's all well and cool, right? Like I can, I've I've had this issue before with Angular to try and send and save a file on the server. That's fine. Um, now I had that working yesterday, but as I said, um, you know I want to go through the root server, and then back down into the branch server, right? So to do that, to pass it through correctly, <sighs> turns out it's like, it's, it's not as straightforward as you'd think. So essentially, like when, when, when you say it out loud, it's like, oh yeah, duh, that's, of course you have to do that. So instead of, just grabbing that request and just slamming it straight through. Um, I either have to do like, you know, one of two things. I either have to open up a, a stream of that file and stream it directly to the, to the branch server. Uh, but that's, you don't want to too much, too much. Um, or you save it to the root server. And then once that's saved, um, then send it to the branch server once it's finished moving around and stuff. Yeah. And that's just the part I'm up to now. Anyway, but, uh, you know, keep getting like source. It's all backwards again. Sucks. Source.on is not a function and a bunch of other crazy shit. But, you know, that's the nature of the beast because reasons right no, just, this is fucked I hate this shit fuck this shit fuck yeah um but yeah just so you know it's not all you know roses and shit I'm fucking gonna you know eat some noodles or drink an energy drink or something I think fucking I've only got six hours of this shit left and I don't want to spend the rest of this time fucking filling with file uploads and like, what the fuck it's stupid. Stupid. Beef. Put on the kettle. Boom. I eat some fod. Two in the morning. Here we go. Ooh, is that milk any good? 19th. What's the date today? Will my camera tell me? Well, nope. I just, I don't want to. Hmm. I don't want to zoom in. I just want to. Nope. Ah, there it is. Ugh. Hey, Tom, come back. Uh, it's... What date? 16th. Ah, perfect. That was weird. I made chocolate milk. It expires on the 19th. Maybe I'll drink that. Get my noodles ready. Oh, my God. I just... Uh just want to get this done, you know? Like this file upload business is stupid. Fucking dumb. <laughs> um, but if I get this down pat, then um, I've got a direct... Uh, I've got a better way of saving and loading files, so I'll be able to keep the files on the root server uh, then rather than just having them on your computer and you upload them directly to the branch, which is still cool, right? But it'll save them to the root server anyway, which is really neat. Anyway. All right, success. So after a little bit of code cleanup, this is what has to happen. This is some more nerd shit here. So, whew, hoo dilly. All right, so let's do it right now. Okay, clean that up, we don't need that. Boom, boom, don't need that. I should put this 
freeze that music. Okay. So let's go to, nope, nope, this file thing here. Okay. This is all going to look really confusing for about a minute. All right. So <laughs> what happens here? Bum, bum, bum. So audio and video, I've made it so you can actually just add any file into here, but let's just for the hell of it. So what happens is, actually I should probably delete those and save that. And then that page should reload in a second. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, when we hit edit and then we get all those things. All right. So this is the code for this page here. All right. When we click on the upload button, uh, da, 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 I've got update media, right? And so what that does is that goes data service, branch upload video, right? But what it does is it prepares a form because you need to send form data to send a file in Angular. Thank you, Angular. All right, so we got, uh, so I make new form data, form data append file. You have to name it this name right here. This dot selected file, which when when I've put a file inside that thing, that becomes the selected file. Um, uh, yeah, and then we append branch IP to it because um, I want to tell the root server what the branch IP address is. Now, I could just send a branch ID, but since I'm already getting all those parameters, I don't want to screw around by doing an extra... Um, a database request to get this so maybe later on but it's pretty much no point in doing that um, unless the IP address for the branches will become obfuscated in the future like maybe we don't ever want to see these IP addresses we only ever just want to see the ID of it and then we can send the ID to the root server or whatever it doesn't matter anyway so IP address yep which is that and which is the selected IP address we resolve that, return it as a promise, so we can go dot then after it's made the form, because I was thinking, oh, wasn't it adding the file because it took freaking ages to upload the file to itself and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> no, that wasn't the case, but anyway. And then we go to, yeah, data service, upload video, and this is where I was saying, like, if you do things in a certain pattern, you've got to keep doing it in that pattern, which is good, because I've got data service, which all of my front end stuff talks to, you know, this thing which makes all the packets for the back end, basically all my model stuff. And then the server is basically all my outgoing requests. Um, and then I've got branch upload video, branch upload audio. I could probably just smash those into the one thing, but who cares? And then we go to the um, root API. Boom, boom, boom. And that is in branch controller. That is this one over here. <laughs> so we hit this route here, which is branch uh, post branch video, branch controller upload branch video. Right. Okay. And then this is going to be boring for pretty much everybody. Right. Um, so this is the funky thing, right? This is what I have to do. So I have to get the file. And then I have to save it locally. Boom. Put it in there. Yeah. If there's an error, return the error. Um, and then if there isn't an error, let's keep going. Then I create a new post request, right? Um, and I add the parameter form data. Now this form data only will exist properly uh, if I have, oh, FS and path, that's, that's a given, but... Um, in app.js, I've got express file upload as a um, require up here in my app. And then I add it here, um, use file upload. Anyway, um, branch model, branch, no, branch controller, that's it. Um, and then in form data, I go file, because I, you know, I want to call it file for whatever reason. Um, I figure just a uniform name will make everything pretty much easier. <laughs> yeah, uh, is equal to file system create read stream. So I've saved it here to this path, 
and then I create a read stream from that path once it's saved. So notice that it's on a callback, right? So once that's happened, callback, do this thing, right? And then I create a URL from the request body branch IP. That was from the form data that we sent in over here from the front end, the branch IP address uh, slash video, and then content type multi-part form data, right? Um, yep, and then request with those options that I send through and then send it. If we don't get anything back, it's false. If we do, it's true. Rah, 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 rah. We don't want to do this because we're not getting a JSON response and it's going to freak out, <laughs> which is neat. Right, yeah, my cute little breakpoint there. All right, then, then, yeah, that, that doesn't end there. <laughs> then that branch IP slash video goes to a, um, a, uh, a friggin' post request over here um, to, yep, yeah, save video, right? So we got router, video, post video, save video, right? Okay. And so <laughs> that's saving the video. Forget about that object keys request file, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll put that back in in a sec. Um, yeah, and then we basically do exactly the same thing. Oh, man, I'm tired. It is 2.27. So that only took me, you know, like 20 minutes or so to figure this crap out. Um, yeah, and then that basically saves it. So using video file um, dot move will move the file from the temporary data that, that it saves in here um, on the request and it will move it to a permanent location. So let's have a look. So what will happen is I'm going to upload an audio file, one of these, into one of the video things so it's easier to see. So if I go over to here and I clicked on select video, but you know, cause I'm cool, I select an audio file and I hit upload, boom, boom. And then we see, yep, success was true. We go over to here and lo and behold, we have silenced on MP3 in there. Now let's go into the branch controller in here. Whew. Um, no, that's the branch server. Uh, oh, yep, branch controller here. Here we go. Right now, in the branch, in the root server, notice we have a couple of files in here. All right, silence MP3, Win Audio MP3. All right. Um, what I'll do, I will keep those files in here, and so in the future, um, what I might want to do is have maybe a drop-down list with all of the um, different video and audio files that can happen. Yeah, um, but that's that's pretty much it for that. That bit, um, delete works. Oh yeah, the, the caveat to this is I haven't got anything actually reading back on it, all right? So if I just do this and keep trying to update it, I have to actually refresh this whole page it's pretty annoying. Hit settings, go into edit, and then we'll see silence.mp3. If I hit delete, it still says success is true, but it's not until I actually reload this entire freaking thing <laughs> and go to edit, and then it's gone. So, but anyway, the point is, I, and then, then we can see we have our mp3 file in there, but it does still exist on the root server. Um, Da -da 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 yeah, there we go. And yeah, so as you can see, it still exists on the root server. Oh my gosh. That was a 10 minute explanation. I realized I just took 10 minutes to explain that. That's crazy. Oh, all right. So, uh, Yep, now that the upload and stuff is done, it is on to the MP3 module stuff. My hair looks horrible. There we go. MP3. So, how I go about writing an entirely new module and getting this just to work overnight, practically I just Google it, right? So I, I'll Google a, uh, for example, right now, 
I don't know what it looks like. I do, however, have um, working MP3 code for the Arduino um, that was written uh, over a year and a bit ago or something, um, which is cool. And that'll work for Arduino. This will probably work for the ESP as well, but as with all these things, the ESP has some kind of weird problem with just working normally. So practically, I am just going to go and close all of my tabs that I had open. I had like 50 tabs open saying like, why can't I upload a damn form? Oh my gosh, even though I've done it before, but whatever. Um, all right, so that's what we're going to do. There you go. ESP32 uh, MP3. Uh, module? Yeah. That's it. Da, 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 da. There's, a, there's a certain name for this chip, too. I know it. I know it. Now I've got to find it. Yeah. Now there's a name for it. And if I don't have the name, I won't know what the hell to call it. Ah, here it is. That's really hard to see. Let's have a look. You can't focus on it either, hey? Boom. Uh, but it does say YX6300. So let's look that. MP3 YX6300. Uh, yep, that's AliExpress. That's where to buy it. ESP32. Let's just take that out. MP3. There we go. Looks like they just sell it. Pretty sure that's just selling it. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, they're, they're just selling it. Um, here we go, ESP32 music player. What chip have they got? Hmm. No, I mean, this is really boring. I'm going to get back. Yeah, it's 2019. Can't switch on a stream. Thanks, C++. C++. It's 2019. You can't switch on a string. You cannot switch on a string in C++. How ridiculous is that? Oh my god, whatever. All right, so it's now nearly six in the morning. Oh man, out of all the libraries and stuff I had to go through, copying software serial libraries and whatnot, ended up going with a hardware serial. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, man, I'm I'm so fucked right now. Um, so pretty much we already had from, you know, over a year ago, um, if I go into, um, our old escape room stuff, back in the Jote, we already had like an MP3 sort of file, right? And so this would already send commands over serials for this specific thing, um, which is pretty neat. So that... That already existed for us, um, but obviously not for the ESP, and it's kind of kind of dumb how it doesn't really want to work. Um, so we're not using software serial this time. We're going with where is it? Hardware serial, right there. Yep. Um, so that means that we're using the using the uh, pin sixteen seventeen. Uh, those ones right there, so RX2, uh, RX and TX2, um, on that thing with this little guy, now he's all plugged in, and it's just a little serial communication thing going on, alright, so, um, 
Yeah, uh, the OG test, which is writing up a little MQTT request. Um, so with this, you have to specify um, a folder and a file name, right? And so this thing, there's a folder called 01 and there's a file called 01. So uh, with this specific um, little module thing is... It won't read a file name. It'll read a file index number, right? Um, and a folder index number. So as long as you've numbered them some number, it's fine. It, it'll it recognize it. So you can name it 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, whatever, 900 something. It'll get it. Anyway, so here it is. We send it. I don't know if you heard that, but that's a thing. So go... File number two. There we go. So we go file number three. Oh, look at that. Number four. Yeah, oh, weird. Here we go. Pause. And we paused. These are little messages that are coming through on it. Um, this is coming from the ESP itself, so I've just got like the serial messages reading through. All those little question marks and stuff are coming from the MP3 player, so I just need to debug those things out just to check if they're working, and they are, and that's perfect, and I love it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's cool. Can we go resume? Because I'm pretty sure I put that as a command. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Should we go number five? Guess there is no number five. <laughs> there you go, one. Hold on, one, one. One, one, pack it for me. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Oh, because I kept saying resume. <laughs> Play. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm tired. I'm really tired. If you're any paying attention, you probably see it. There you go. There's number five. Um, now, I did add it as an action thingy here. And there we go. So I chucked that in the script editor before. So actions. Um... And here's the data coming through here. I just wrote it. It's just plain text JSON. Um, so I can do five and make that the dog bark. Save that. Go to here. I don't know if this will actually do dog barking right now or it will just do that noise. Oh, it will. There you go. So that action is immediate then. That's really cool. Yeah. Let me make that happen again. I think I overloaded it. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's... Uh, fruits of those labors. That's good. That's good. Anyway, I'm off. That's my five minutes for that. I don't know, I probably recorded, what, half an hour of crap today. I'm, I'm wrecked. I'm wrecked. I'm going to go home and have a sleep or something. I'll push this up to GitHub. And, uh... Yeah, start wiring this stuff up properly tomorrow. Yeah. Geech.